Hello, my name is Gabriel, and today I'm going to tell you about Telega and the Emacs community on Telegram. I'm not affiliated with Telegram or Telegram, and your opinions are my own. In general, I'm going to give you my personal spin about these topics. The plan for the talk is the following. First, I'm going to tell you about what is Telegram. Next, I'm going to tell you about the Emacs community on Telegram. And finally, I'm going to discuss Telega.el, an Emacs package for Telegram. In all of these, I'm not going to dive into details. My goal here is to give you some exposures about these topics, and you can find out more online if you want to. Let's get started with what is Telegram. Telegram is a cloud-based instant messaging platform. It's a popular one. It has more than half a billion users. I think one of the reasons why it's so popular is because it's really rich in features while being user-friendly. Hence, in some regions, Telegram has a good market penetration. And of course, because of network effects, this brings even more users. The details of the features are not particularly important. What I want to emphasize, though, is that while Telegram is mostly text-based, there's also support for audio, video calls, and notes. And there's also a lot of features which typically you find in other instant messaging platforms. You can chat with yourself, you can make polls, you can make quizzes, you can schedule messages, you can send documents of any kind, even big ones, and you can send stickers. Telegram overall is quite customizable. And I would say that the platform is overall hackable. You can expand it with bots and the, the clients are open source. In all of this, we shouldn't forget though that Telegram is centralized, it's not free software. Nonetheless, it's still used by a number of people. And people use Telegram for different reasons. For example, some people use it to stay in touch with friends and families. For this, Telegram offers private chats or group chats with a restricted number of people. Other people use it for engaging in online communities. And for this, Telegram has supergroups, which are groups with up to hundreds of thousands of users, and has also channels, which are one to many ways of communicating. So these are ideally suited for, for example, following news, all sorts of news. Telegram also has bots, which can be useful by themselves. They provide value. And the chat with oneself can be used for saving links, making notes, or sending reminders. So overall, there's multiple ways in which you can use Telegram. When it comes to instant messaging, many people call Telegram home. It shouldn't come as to a surprise then that Emacs users want to meet on Telegram as well. And indeed, there's an Emacs community on Telegram. Here, I'm listing a few supergroups about Emacs. There are language groups. So there's Emacs English, Emacs Russian, Emacs Spanish, Emacs Mandarin, Portuguese. There are groups which are specific to startup packs. For example, there's Doom Emacs, there's Space Max, and there are groups which are specific to packages like Telegram, which I'm going to discuss later. These are what you would expect from traditional internet chat rooms. So they're used for shared links, they're used for discussing, troubleshooting, giving each other recommendations. I think they are healthy communities with typically 100 to 1,000 members. An example of an initiative that's put forth by the Emacs community on Telegram is Emacs Stories. Emacs Stories collects links and messages and pictures that can showcase what Emacs can do. One of the goals here is to show people that are new to Emacs what you can achieve if you spend time with your editor. And here, what I'm showing you is a screenshot from Telega. So let's move on to the final topic of this discussion, which is Telega.el. Telega is a terrific piece of software. Telega is an interface to Telegram within Emacs. It's developed by ZevLG, which is a longtime Emacs hacker. And it's very actively developed. Telegram itself is under active development, and Telega has to implement all these new, the new features that Telegram implement. Indeed, Telega implements almost all the features available in Telega, even things like live location, except for audio video calls, but these are work in progress. Just to give you an idea of the size of this effort, we're talking about 30,000 lines of code which doesn't tell you much, but maybe you can get a sense that this is a, a significant project. In fact, I think Telega is a really remarkable piece of software. Not only it implements all the features available in Telegram, but it implements new ones, which are only available to Emacs users. Here, I'm linking the documentation for you to read if you're interested. Okay, what I want to mention, though, is that Telega is available on Melpa, but it requires an external library, TDLeap. Most distributions do not put a recent version of TDLeap, so you have to compile it yourself. If you don't want to compile the lib, you can use the officially supported Dockerfile of Goods files so that you can get everything without too much worry. Now, let me tell you more about Telegram. Of course, the best way is to just to experiment it yourself. And here, I just want to give you a glimpse of how Telegram works. When you start Telegram, what you see is the root buffer. 
the root buffer is essentially the list of all the charts that you have. And by itself, it's a really powerful tool. You can use it for uh, sorting and filtering your charts, or you can make create groups which are thematic. There's sophisticated search functions. For example, if you want to search only for specific type of media, clearly you can start new charts. You can get info about the charts and you can even change telegram settings which are applied across the board here i'm showing you an example of what it looks like as you see we're enjoying the support for emoji that emacs has been improving upon over the past years once you select one of these charts you're brought to the chop buffer here i'm showing an example of what a chop buffer looks like so this is a screenshot from the emacs english group where people were discussing about compiling Emacs. As you can see, we see the conversation, we see the avatars, we see that there's a thread. We also see that I'm going to send a message, a message with emoji, a message with formatting, and I'm attaching an object. I can format my messages using Markdown or Org mode or whatever I prefer, and I can attach any kind of attachment I like. For example, what I can also do is if I'm editing a buffer, I can send that buffer through Telega, which I find quite useful, especially when I'm sending code. And again, just to show you that Telegram is not just text messages and Telega supports all the features in Telegram, here at the bottom, I'm showing a voice note being played through Emacs. And as you see, there are some buttons which are functional. If I hit the two times button, the playback speed will be twice, which is really neat. Telega and Emacs can even reproduce uh, videos or GIFs, at least for recent version of Emacs. Finally, I want to emphasize that Telega integrates really well with Emacs. For example, we are showing you how you can use a transient um, interface to Telega, or on the other side, I'm showing you how Telega integrates with Dashboard so that we have recent charts and we have the Emacs stories, because, you know, who doesn't like Emacs with stories? On top, on the other hand, I'm showing you that we can have syntax highlighting, which is something that Telegram by itself doesn't have, this uh, Emacs only feature. And we can edit this in the same way we edit org mode source blocks. So we can edit this with the minor mode for, in this case, Emacs Lisp. So to conclude, I wanted to show you that the Emacs community also meets on Telegram and we're an active and healthy community. And I want to present Telega as a really amazing piece of software, one of the best client available for Telegram with Emacs. Even if you don't use Telegram, I think you should have a look at Telega just to appreciate how amazing a piece of software it is. And with this, I thank you for your attention. And if you like Telega, please consider donating uh, to support the development of the package. Thanks.